guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome as well. So we are up to episode nine of season four of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So once again, <laughs> we got two Mays running around. Well, one's technically, you know, being held captive right now, but there's two Mays. Oh, Jesus, God. I was like, can May catch a break for the love of God? <laughs> so I wonder how long it's going to take Colson, because like I said, Colson should really be the first one to like start noticing that something's not right, I would assume, because obviously him and May are the closest out of anybody. But uh, so I don't know what... Ada's plans are with that but I guess because I don't know if it's just from reading the book and it seems to like kind of take over the person and then because um Robbie's uncle was so hell-bent on creating life so I guess maybe that it, like I should have put two and two together and I didn't and like even when I saw her like putting a brain together like I was like oh I think she's trying to become more human but why would she want to become more human <laughs> no she was just creating other humans but um, yeah, so I definitely think even after like when before um, Colson even said it, I kind of had a feeling maybe Robbie would make his way back because I was like that just like ended way too quick. I was like, I don't know. I feel like there's got to be more to this Robbie storyline because he is very entertaining. I like him being part of everything that's going on. So I'm I'm patiently hopefully he does <laughs> could be wrong, but I'm just patiently waiting for him to hopefully make his way back and you know see where it goes from there. Um, Yo Yo and Mac had finally kissed, but. I'm happy but I'm not because I always feel like when that happens that means doom of some type is right around the corner. <laughs> uh, so I, who, if I do think one of them's gonna die, I kind of think Yo-Yo would end up sacrificing herself for Mac because I feel like he's gonna get in a situation that maybe can't get himself out and then like you know somebody's about to kill him and then because of her super speed she's gonna like jump in front and then you know sacrifice herself for him. Hopefully that's not what happens but like I said the track record of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is not very good when it comes to couples. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm dying to see this episode, so here we go. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. And really quick, guys, before we dive into the episode, I just have like a really interesting tidbit to share with you guys. Um, so I was home back in Pennsylvania visiting my family probably like two weeks ago now. And um, my sister had just mentioned to me like, oh, did you see Miley Cyrus made it into the Disney Legends? You know how she's like the youngest person to make it in. And I was like, yeah, I saw that. And then like, I was like, well, I never even heard of the like the Disney Legends, which is essentially like the Disney Hall of Fame. My sister's like, yeah, I haven't either. So I was like, oh, I wonder who else is on this list. And then so I Googled it and I got to see the whole list. It started in like 1987. And May is in the Disney Legends, which I think she fully deserves because I think somebody had said she's like pretty much the only person to do like the Triple Crown of Disney because, you know, she did The Voice of Mulan. She was in Star Wars the Mandalorian and then obviously Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. so she did like the three different sections of Disney so I'm so happy when I saw her in there but but so congratulations May but there is one huge issue I have with the Disney Legends I the, from the start of the list I thought for damn sure this person was going to be in it I go through the entire damn list and she is not on it and I was like what the fuck the lady that voiced Maleficent Eleanor Oddly how is she not in there? I, it has completely dumbfounded me. The lady that provided like the greatest female villain voice in hit, in my opinion. Okay, I guess not. Maybe everybody will agree. To wake his love with love's first kiss and prove that true love conquers all. <laughs> But she not only voiced Maleficent, she voiced the evil stepmother in Cinderella. And then, and then I found out she even did the voice of like the Haunted Mansion ride. She was like the, the headless crystal ball or whatever. She voiced the... That! Creepies and crawlies, toads in a pond. Let there be music from regions beyond. And then I was like, well, did her and Disney have, like, bad blood? Like, even though Miley, no offense to Miley, and I do think she should be in there, but, like, she bashed Disney quite a bit there for a while. So I looked into it, and, and there's nothing coming up about her 
in bad blood with her and Disney. Um, like everybody that had like worked with her was like, you know, they really enjoyed it. And then even she got like a private screening after like Sleeping Beauty wrapped up and you know, she was all proud of it and she was all excited. And you know, she was like, that was like her most proud work she did. So I cannot believe that the lady that voiced Maleficent is not a Disney legend. I, the audacity <laughs> to exclude Eleanor oddly. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, okay, that's my little rant for the day, and especially because if you guys, this was the very, very, very first video I have ever made. Um, it was about Sleeping Beauty because it was my favorite Disney movie growing up, and especially, like, Maleficent will always be my favorite Disney villain. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, you can go check that out, but it's probably awkward as hell because, like I said, it's the very, very first video I ever made, so, ugh. <laughs> but anyways, okay. Enough of that, but once again, congratulations to May. So, all right, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., here we go. All they pretty much had to do was fucking reboot this lady, and they fucking didn't do it. Studies show that listening to music increases dopamine levels by 9%, and I'll arrange for more comfortable accommodations eventually. Oh, Jesus. But I must keep you hidden. Okay, at least she's trying to be nice to her. <laughs> Until your substitute has served her purpose. Oh, God, what, what is her purpose? So she's just keeping poor maid drugged up. I'm still so torn about him. I want to like him. God, I do. Once the Zephyr's ready, Agents May and Mackenzie will accompany me. We'll transfer the dark hold to an agent who specializes oh, in God, making no, items like this Oh, God, no, don't put me on disappear. that mission. How's he going to manage that? Some sort of magic spell? Right, yeah, probably had your fill of dark arts jokes. What with the flame? <laughs> While we're handling the book, your mission is to accompany Dr. Radcliffe and erase Ada's hard drive. What? No. I don't know. Ada read the dark hold. Okay, thank you. God, thank you. Makes sense. Although, it does seem a little bit unfair to Ada, considering how many lives she just saved. Okay. First of all, that thing is not a she. It's a damn robot. <laughs> Second of all, what's the matter with you two chuckleheads? Have either one of you seen a movie in the last 30 years? The robots always attack. Thank God for Mac. Yeah, I don't see any harm in replacing a hard drive. Better safe than sorry, as they say. Well, you guys were just too damn late. God. Oh, oh, it's this dude. Finally. Oh, I'm dying to know what his powers are. Seven months? I was gone that long? That's why I said he's got to have some big powers. Why are we here? I needed a place for us to be alone. Just you and me. <laughs> I don't even think he fully likes this. Nobody likes this lady. It is nice having someone here to talk to again. You, specifically. Someone other than Fitz? Oh, well, of course Fitz, but he has been rather distracted. <laughs> well, of course Fitz. Distracted how? Well, of course Fitz. Ada, you know how boys can be with their robots? No. Actually, I really don't. <laughs> Must admit, we make a pretty impressive pair. Whoa. Looks like we're stuck with each other. <laughs> well, I was just trying to make the most of the precarious situation you put me in. This is when I get read the riot act? Not by me. However, if you're as smart as they say, then you'll know that uh, I saved you from being thrown in prison. I mean, I can't totally disagree with him. You saved face. You turned it into a publicity stunt. Well, you already had plenty of publicity. Destruction of public property. Assault. Armed robbery. Yeah, I mean, I do see his side. I can't argue that. The public was turning against you now. They look up to you. You're welcome. <laughs> but I do think there's ulterior, ulterior motives. I read your written statement, and I believe it. You were just trying to protect the innocent. And I know you're new here, but that's what S.H.I.E.L.D. is all about. I know you're new here. <laughs> new here. Yeah. <laughs> it was a joke. I was making a joke to break the ice. He tries. He does. We're a team now, and I have this saying. Yes, I read ah. If you want to tackle problems, the watchdogs, enemy number one. I believe they're funded internationally. They have ties to people within the U.S. government. Yep. I don't want to chase conspiracy theories. It's not a theory if I can prove it. I want to chase hard facts, like the fact that Senator Nadir is aware of an inhuman who's being held against his will. Now we're talking. Agent Simmons has seen his okay. face. Okay. If she can ID him, maybe she, she did. He's the senator's brother. Breaking news. How fitting. <laughs> Agent Rodriguez is still recovering, so that leaves you, me, and Agent Simmons. Wheels up in 10. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, damn. Oh, man. Him, Daisy, and Simmons together. I'm excited. 
I wasn't expecting you. I'd be like, well, it's my damn house. It's not like you come whenever. Is everything okay, Leopold? You look sad. Everything's fine. Just, um, a bit overwhelmed with work, that's all. It's almost as if she knew I felt guilty. Nah, don't be silly, Fitz. I can't differentiate. Ew. Jeez! I know what you're doing, Doctor. You came here to end my life. The bloody hell. Oh, Lord. I made a few upgrades of my own. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh God, where's... Oh. Oh, no. Ida. Oh. I didn't like feeling pain. Look how quickly, how quickly it all turned. Oh, no. What's gonna happen to Fitz? Oh, she just took off. No, she didn't. Oh! Oh, hopefully Fitz finds May. Please. What happened to you inside the cocoon, VJ? I don't know. Nothing. You were in there for seven months. Surely you have some memory of being inside. She's like, damn it, brother, talk. For a long time, all I could hear was your voice. Telling you to fight. And I did. If it hadn't been for that S.H.I.E.L.D. scientist. Wait, does that mean S.H.I.E.L.D.'s back? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> but Fitz and Radcliffe should be back any minute. Maybe they'll have some idea where Ada's headed. This isn't some Johnny Five we're talking about. It's the bloodthirsty murder bot on the loose. <laughs> First, maybe we lock up the guy who created this mess. But don't, don't be so quick to judge. Ada's programming was perfect. This is it's clearly the Darkhold's fault. You're saying reading the Darkhold may have corrupted Ada's programming? Mm -hmm. Is that even possible? Mm -hmm. Technically, no, but we are dealing with a book that can read people's minds and also reveal the hidden secrets yeah, of the look universe. Robbie's so. fucking uncle. I, for one, I'm glad that Ada read that book. Otherwise, both of you would not be standing here alive. Look, positive. Look, big dumb idiot for building that thing in the first place. Oh, Let's save Mac, that debate okay. for another time. Yeah. Right now, we need to find <laughs> yeah, Ada. Yeah, let's tone it down just a little bit. You bet well. Well, that's simple. She wants to live. Jeez, that guy looks so fake. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm sorry I put the bag over your head. <laughs> Oh, God, I want to like him so bad. Please, just let him be good. Maybe it's just awkward. I don't want to draw too much attention. It's in downside of being front page news. Which means we need to find a more covert way in. Well, seeing as you both have more experience with undercover work, I'm open to suggestions. OK, OK. What can I do for you? It is absolutely crucial. I speak with Senator Nadir about Bill 2474. He enforces a bill? <laughs> That's right. Oh, she got a southern accent. Well, of course, by idiots. Maybe we can schedule you in for a conference call later this week. Or maybe I could just take the lobby's sizable campaign funds to a senator who's willing to speak right now. <laughs> Wait right here. Well, damn. So proud of Simmons. Now I have to admit, Gemma is much tougher than I'd originally given her credit for. <laughs> Me too, sir. Me too. I think Simmons has been kidnapped like three times since I've known her. Really? Yeah, well, only twice on this planet. <laughs> His face. <laughs> I need to speak with Senator Nadir. She's unavailable. What's the problem? Remember the scientist that helped the senator's brother get out of that husk? Well, she's here right now. Oh. That is a problem. I'm going to need your phone. Oh. Is she okay in there? Yep, she's fine. But now we can trace that call. This is exactly what I needed. Thanks for bringing me out here. Remember that zip line oh, we built out here in the garage? Why? Why she look so... I'm sorry, VJ. Oh. Why? Because I broke my arm falling off it? Wasn't your fault. <laughs> oh, God. What is she gonna do? Kill him? Oh. What's going on? What is this? You and I were both there when the Chitari killed Mom. Uh -huh. Aliens invading our world. Everything changed that day. What are you doing? The inhuman epidemic was the next phase. Jeez. The aliens were now here, contaminating us, changing oh, us to so be he's like them. Which is why we made each other a promise. No, no Ellen, no. That if no. either of us was ever infected by the alien plague, it was up to the other to do the right thing. Oh. Do you see any scarring, any special abilities? Not yet. That's because it didn't change me. I'm the same person I've always been. 
I beat it. Just like you said I could. I've always looked up to you. If she, if she does it. Don't give up on me now. She would do it. This is not what mom would want. Yeah, probably not. Let him go. Oh. This isn't what we I discussed. said let him go. Thank you. So what, her plan was just to kill him right then and there? Looks like your creepiness finally works in our favor. Shouldn't be too hard to find your beautiful, weird science sex bot. <laughs> Mac! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta let it go, man. I mean, not say don't, I mean, don't let it go, but I mean, you don't need to keep making these comments either. Ada can read her GPS history? That's not good. That's bad. Yeah, how bad? Cool. Oh, Jesus. She's there. We're about to find out. <laughs> Hello, Ada. That was calm. <laughs> it's nice to hear your voice, Agent Colson. Okay. This right here is exactly how the lawnmower man ends. <laughs> I mean, I understand why Max freaked out. Freaked out. Don't get me wrong. What is it you want, Ada? The thing that gave me a soul. The Darkhold? Yeah, I'm sorry, Ada. You've been acting a little off lately, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say that. Oh, She's in the system. I was hoping you'd pay me a visit. Unfortunately, it's not that type of visit. <laughs> it's not a sexy visit. Does it have something to do with the power being out? Yeah. Radcliffe built a humanoid robot that's about to attack the base. Why would he do that? Has he watched no American movies from the 80s? Robots always attack. I've been saying that all day. Look at that. Smart people are stupid. <laughs> they were definitely meant for each other. Where are we headed? Emergency staircase to the oh, base's God. bar entrance. I'm waiting for her to we just need to lock that down manually. Do something. Don't you think we'd be better off guarding the dark hole? No, the dark hole's secure where it is. <clears throat> better hope so. Hello, Ada. God, that would creep me out. Now he's in between two robots. Oh! <laughs> My hand does that too. <gasps> Jeez. She said Colson flying. You're not getting that book. Yes, I am. <sighs> oh, come on, Colson. Please tell me you see this, for the love of God. But I'm gonna need your help. Oh, God, she... She... Somebody else has to wear fucking May's face. Go figure. Jesus Christ. Seems Ada nailed you pretty good. Radcliffe failed to mention she had ninja programming. Oh, no, she just cut into it so that it looked like she did something to her. Uh, never mind. Her reactions are, are nothing more than approximations of emotions. It's pure mimicry. Yeah, well, that's just it. What if reading the dark cold somehow made the emotions that Ada was mimicking real? Yeah, I probably wouldn't think it would do that, but... He's an inhuman. Then why hasn't he changed? BJ still looks the same. He's shown no new abilities. Because he they was hiding the them from you. Your brother has been in a husk for seven months. Fighting the disease. For which there is no cure. Something's gonna happen. He's gonna unleash something. But what? I don't know. I'm surprised to see you here, Director Mace. Especially in the company of Quake, a known terrorist. Guess you haven't been watching the news lately. Agent Johnson here is a national hero. Helped <laughs> save a lot of lives in LA. Really? Is that what they're saying? Funny how easily the press can be fed a false narrative. Is that a hex mag? It's not really something the Secret Service used, but it's a favorite among the watchdogs. Guess it's not just a theory after all. <laughs> These men are simply providing security. The world has become a very dangerous place because of people like you. Mm -hmm. Why, even today, I had an aide attacked in my office. <laughs> Simmons is so proud of herself. Does General Talbot even know you're here? This operation doesn't concern Talbot. Oh, I miss Talbot. When's he gonna make an appearance again? I just got off the phone with the superior. He says eliminate the inhuman. Who the fuck's the superior? Are you hearing this? Ooh. Oh, she's just taking a she jet. Did not just go all maximum overdrive on us. Yep, she did. Everyone take cover! Oh my god! Jesus. How many times have we been locked up together? <laughs> Hard to say. Too many count. First time by a robot, though. <laughs> They're like, good, good times, good times. Where are we headed once he does? Back to where we came from. Mesa's office? Why there? Because that's where you hit the dark hold. There's no safe in that room. 
Which is why we cloaked the book. Oh no, I feel like he's lying. He knows. He's leading her into a trap. Come on. I have faith. Coulson's one step ahead. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Oh. I was so positive. I always worried that robots would try and kill me one day. Really? <laughs> God, jeez, <geez>, Mac. <laughs> okay, no wonder he's so, like, upset. <laughs> he really thought this was how he's, his demise was going to play out. You've got a special provision in my life insurance for death by robot. Are you serious? Okay. Ada, stop. Make that with her fits. Maybe that will like distract her. Careful, Fitz. She's dangerous. No, Fitz, Fitz will make out with her. Best not to engage. Ooh. I took the yes. base offline. You're no longer in the system. There's nowhere for you to go. I still think maybe just like making out with her all of a sudden would catch her by surprise. Just saying. Simmons would probably forgive you. Oh. Oh, he's got like super speed, like yo yo. What the? <laughs> Guess now we know what your power is. I did not kill anyone here. That was intentional. You murdered Nathanson. Nathanson insisted he reboot me before repairing my wounds. No, he didn't. I regret what happened. Regret? It's not part of your programming. The dark hold fixed that. It showed me regret and desire. So many astonishing things. Oh! oh. Whoa! Roll credits. <laughs> okay, no makeout session. Wow, that ended way faster than I thought it was going to. Okay, but May is still a fucking. Shilma. She's seen what you are. That's why they're here. She wants to make you their weapon. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's like I said when we first met, I have friends just like you. Are they agents? Yes, but that was their choice. She's lying. <laughs> How do you force somebody to be an agent? Come on, ma'am. Uh -uh. We're family. You are gonna kill him? We have to go now. Uh -uh. Oh, I really didn't think he was... BJ, don't do this. Oh my god, sir. You're making a mistake. He's not safe with her. Gemma. BJ had a choice and he made it. That's true. He'll be back. It's, it's fine. He'll find his way to you guys. But yeah, like, do you really feel comfortable sitting next to that dude? I want you to know how sorry I am. Shield isn't going away. We need to strike back. So that's. Please tell me that's not the end of him. Maybe he can like heal. Have you ever watched Chopping Mall? <sighs> Eight teenagers trapped in a shopping mall while three deadly security robots hunt them down. Of course I've seen Chopping Mall. Come on. Huh? <laughs> Guess he had to watch every movie that were, you know, <laughs> about robots to be fully prepared. It's kind of weird. Just her head just laying on the table. <laughs> Nobody's taking care of the other May. Sounds like Senator Nadir was the one who's been organizing the watchdogs. Mm. At least now we know who our real enemy is. <laughs> to Ada. Okay, okay. To Ada. Oh! <sighs> is everything okay, Doctor? It will be. It's just... Oh, we were so close. She had it in her hand, Ada, in her hand. No! I've only glimpsed it, but it opened my eyes to possibilities beyond my wildest imaginings. Oh, no, he's infected. Holy fuck. <laughs> but she so, failed. Ah, through no fault of her own. So she does he know there's May? To perfection. Right down to my little speech about how the dark hole was making her a real girl. Oscar worthy stuff. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am about all of this, Agent May. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I promise you, everyone at S.H.I.E.L.D. is doing just fine. For now. And soon enough, 
Everyone will get exactly what they want. So everybody? What is he saying Colson and May may start dating? That's what I'm saying. There's no way he can be done. But then he's gonna be really pissed off if he somehow can come back. Come on. Oh, he's going back into it again? What? You can do it more than once? Love fucking dicks. <laughs> oh, Radcliffe. So, I don't think... Well, no, no, no. Okay, so I think it's because he's infected. I don't think he was like that the whole time. Because when he was first building Ada, they didn't even know about the dark hold. I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure. So it's not like he was designing her for like all of this to unfold. So I think, yeah, he got like a quick glimpse at the, the book and I guess that's all it takes. Oh no, guess I liked him, I did, damn it. Uh, and then, yeah, and then I guess her brother's going into re-terogenesis. I'm pretty sure that's what, so. Oh god, I can't wait for him to come back and and then oh god, his sister so <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be so excited. Yeah, so I don't know if they were trying to hint that like May and Colson are like about ready to give in and like their feelings for each other, but um I, yeah, I couldn't tell with that, so I could be totally wrong, but how he said everybody's about to get what they want. Well, I don't think that's gonna be the case, sir. I really don't. I really don't, but, oh no, oh lord, I don't even know what to say after this, but yeah, now, okay, so there is someone still taking care of me, <laughs> my question was answered, but, oh, uh, damn, so, I, uh, so I wonder how long that other Ada has been there, or like, I guess, once the whole dark hole took over, then he just made another one, just in case type of thing, I don't know, but, once again, come on, Colson. There has to be something that's gonna give it away that that's not the real May. But uh, like I said, I was kind of confused there because I thought she was gonna cut her face off. <laughs> but clearly, that's not what she was doing. But god damn. Okay, so I can only imagine what's gonna happen next episode. So until next time, guys. Bye.